Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure on iOS devices the email settings. By configuring email settings by using end to end profile configuration related to iOS or maybe for other devices, in this case, if you can lock it here for the device configuration, I can configure the similar settings by creating from the profile give the a specific name i can create for android uh, devices or it can be my uh, even the android enterprise it would be the same thing uh, here if you can see him in and similarly i also have for ios as well as my windows uh, 10 also so by configuring uh, these settings are quite same but let's jump into the iOS specific because we are into iOS specific settings section let's have a look on it uh, how to configure but let's understand why we need to configure all these uh, email settings to begin uh, as the introduction what you can uh, what you can understand is as you are the Intune administrator by creating email profiles with a specific settings to connect your email server uh, for example it can be office 365 here uh, you can give here the office 365 server uh, settings or maybe a gmail server or whatever the server you have uh, so that the end users uh, can easily connect and authenticate synchronize their organization email accounts on their mobile devices or maybe on their devices by creating and deploying this kind of you know, email profiles you are actually making a standard across any of the devices and uh, this will definitely reduce the support calls which you are uh, expecting or which you are receiving from the help desk team and uh, that way uh, these settings are really helpful for the end users as well as to your help desk team in order to reduce the calls that you are uh, expecting or receiving email uh, configuration settings to configure the settings you can give here straightforward a meaningful name uh, of the profile like uh, mail server settings uh, for your iOS devices and then give it a meaningful description if you want and uh, let's configure your email server I can give here my setting as outlook dot office 365 if I'm using the outlook if you if you're using the uh, Google you need to just look at uh, for the Google specific settings like you can simply uh, go to uh, Google Google SMTP settings for G Suite example so that uh, it gives the what uh, what to be configured here if you can look at here uh, it's going to be http.gmail and uh, this is the information you need to enter there so that it's going to be configured and let's uh, jump into the office 365 specific now and you can give this is going to be my um, uh, cop email id mails mail server profile and then uh, what kind of a user account is going to be used is it going to be a specific to azure active directory attribute or upn name most of the time we we would like to go for user a uh, principal name which is nothing but upn in this case and the email address also i would like to go for my either smtp primary smtp or upn uh, most most of the cases uh, what i have seen in my experience is uh, upn you know what we choose because that's where we configure uh, for the authentication purpose so mostly upn is uh, will be taken and of course you know it doesn't matter that you know if you use the primary SNTP also that's fine uh, it's not a big deal to you know uh, configure because it's just a drop down but it all depends on how you're going to authenticate now authentication method is you can choose here uh, whether the certificate or uh, you're going to be entering username and password for that specific user so when uh, it's going to be actually popped up for the end users saying that hey you need to enter your username and password so that they simply enter the username and password and these settings already available on those specific uh, email profiles so it's not gonna uh, ask them to you know configure the specific email server settings or european names all that and uh, it's going to be ssl uh, uh, most most of the companies they go for the ssl and Oh, authentication if you want to go for OAuth uh, you can use the OAuth uh, this is for another authentication uh, level and for the uh, encryption uh, method you can use the SBIM or uh, options MIMI or uh, whatever the option you want you know most of the companies they also use the MIMI or uh, simply disable it based on the configuration now if you can look at the uh, amount of emails to be synchronized this is nothing but uh, you want to synchronize because this is going to be over uh, the uh, Wi-Fi or it could be your uh, cellular data so you need to uh, be sure that you know whether you want it allow 
every day or thrice a day or once a week or something like that but uh, most of the company they go for uh, because emails are the business so they just go for the unlimited it's not going to be a big size of the data so they go for unlimited and then they also move other email accounts if you want allow messages to be moved other email accounts you can use allow uh, emails to be sent from third party application if you want if you want to disable you can disable that synchronize uh, recently used email also if you want to you know synchronize that uh, recently sync uh, emails you can use that uh, this is how you would be you know, configuring for the email profile once you have configured here you would be simply clicking on creating so that the specific uh, profile is going to create once the profile is created you can assign the specific profile to the required ios devices so in this case i'm just uh, specifying to all finance department what i can do is i'll simply go to uh, my specific uh, group here which i have included as my you can check out here my all finance users group and then select uh, save that's going to be applied a specific setting to only finance department uh, that's how you configure for the meals. Thank you for watching this.